Hey guys, in this video, we are going to use Amazon Poly from Golang to generate text to speech audio files. And if you want to learn Python, R, data science, or if you want to get a certification as a data engineer, check out DataCamp. There is a link in the description below this video. What is Amazon Poly? Amazon Poly is a text to speech cloud based service. Amazon Poly uses advanced machine learning technologies to synthesize natural sounding human speech. You can build speech-enabled applications in multiple languages. Some use cases are, for example, the USA Today Network produces audio content with Poly. Macbox uses Poly for voice guidance as part of its navigation solution. And Bolly, that is a top developer of voice-controlled games, also uses Poly. Remember to subscribe to the channel and let's get started. Okay, let's create a new policy from the AWS console. So we allow to the user that owns the credentials that we have in our local environment to use the Amazon Poly API through the AWS SDK for Golang. So first we need to go to IAM, then we have to go to policies, and then we need to click here on this button to create a new policy. We're going to choose a service that is going to be Poly. And we need to select an action that is going to be synthesize speech. And after that, we are going to select the resources and I'm going to select all resources. I'm going to click here on review policy and I'm going to assign a name to the policy that is going to be poly developers. And I'm going to create the policy. Okay. Now I'm going to create a new group. I'm going to call it Poly developers, and I'm going to attach the policy that I already created for Poly. This one, Poly developers. I'm going to create a group, and now I'm going to enter to this Poly developers group, and I'm going to add the user that owns the credentials that we have in our local environment, that is the pragmatic user this one. And if you go to the user view, so we can see that the policy is attached to the user through that group. So with this policy, this user is allowed to execute the synthesize speech operation or the synthesize speech action on any Amazon Poly resource. Now let's go to Visual Studio Code and let's start working on the application that is going to consume the Amazon Poly API. Okay, now that we have all the permissions ready on AWS, so we can access the Amazon Poly API through the AWS SDK for Golang. Let's start working on a new project. So let's create a new directory. Okay, so I'm going to initialize the module of the application. So I need to execute go mod init and the name of the module for the application that is gitlab.com slash pragmatic reviews slash golan hyphen amazon hyphen poly. Like that. Okay. Now let's open Visual Studio Code and let's open the terminal. And I'm going to install the AWS SDK for Golang. Go get github.com slash AWS slash AWS hyphen SDK hyphen go. Okay, now I'm going to create the main file, main.go. The package is going to be main. And now I'm going to add the main function, func main. And it's going to be empty for now. I'm going to create a new folder. I'm going to call it service. And here I'm going to create the service that is going to interact with the Amazon Poly API. So I'm going to create a new file within this folder and it's going to be poly service. Let go. And the package, package is going to be service. And here I'm going to create an interface. I'm going to call it poly service interface. And I'm going to 
just include one method that is going to be synthesize. And this function is going to receive the text that you want to transform into audio and the file name that is going to be a string. That is going to be the name of a file. In this case, it's going to be an MP3 file. We are going to return an error in case we get any errors. I'm going to create an struct. that is going to include the configuration for the voice. So if we go to the AWS console and we go to the Amazon Poly service, we have different voices. So we can set which of these voices is going to reproduce the audio. So we're going to select a couple of these. We are going to set that voice identifier on this struct. It's going to be voice. It's going to be a string. Okay, and now I'm going to implement the synthesize function. This one. Funk. And this is going to be config. And it's going to be a pointer to the struct. Poly config. Like that. First, I need to create a variable to access the client of the poly API. So I'm to create a new function, func, create poly client, and this is going to return poly dot poly. And here we need to create an AWS session. Session is going to be equals to session dot must and this is a boilerplate that will allow us to access to the credentials that are stored locally in the credentials file it's going to be session that sorry that new session with options and here we're going to pass the session options so this is session that options like that and here is going to be shared config state and the value is going to be session that shared config enable. And this is a setting that will allow us to access the credentials file. And here I'm going to create a new poly client. So I'm going to return poly that new. And I'm going to pass the AWS session that I created. Okay, and now let's go back to the synthesize function and let's use the create poly client function to create a new client so it's going to be poly client it's going to be equals to create poly client and now we need to create the input to call this service so input it's going to be equals to a reference to poly that and here we create the input for the synthesize operation synthesize speech input here and here we need to pass three properties we need to pass the output format that in this case is going to be mp3 so we need to use aws string and here we pass mp3 that's one of the properties the other one is the text that we receive here as a parameter of this synthesize function so it's going to be equals to aws dot string and we pass the text here and the next property is going to be the voice id AWS that string and we are going to use the voice here that we 
set to destruct. So it's going to be config that voice. Okay, the next step is going to be using that input. We are going to call the synthesize function from the API poly client that synthesize speech and we pass the input. And this is going to return either an output or an error. So output. And if you go there, this is going to return an, a synthesized speech output. That is actually this struct. That includes an audio stream with it closer, a content type, and some other properties. Okay. And here we need to handle the error. If error is not nil, we return the error. And we handle the error on the caller. And now what we need to do is, using that output, we need to create an MP3 file. This is going to be out file, an error, and here we're going to use a function using the operating system library that is a function to create a new file. So it's going to be os.create, this one, and we're going to pass the file name that we receive here as a parameter. And again, we are going to handle that error here. And we're going to use the defer function here to close the file. Remember that this defer keyword is going to force to run this code when this function returns a value or when this function ends. Moving on, we are going to copy using the IO library, io.copy. This is going to receive two arguments. The destination, that is going to be a writer. In this case, it's going to be the destination file, this one. And the, the target is going to be the output that we receive from the synthesized speech operation. So it's going to be output that audio stream that returns a reader. So if we go there, we're going to see that this audio stream returns this reader closer. That is actually a reader. Great. Let's close this. And here, this is going to return a result that we are going to ignore and an error. And we're going to handle that error. And if we don't get any errors, we return nil. Yeah. Okay, what we need to add here is a constructor function. So let's say that I want to use a couple of voices. I want to use, I don't know, Kimberly and Joy. So I'm going to create two constructor functions. Funk, and let's call this new Kimberly poly service. And this is going to return the struct, a reference to the struct. And here we're going to pass Kimberly as the voice identifier. It's going to be a string, Kimberly, like that. And let's create another one for Joy. It's going to be new joy 
Poly service and this is going to receive Joy as the voice identifier here. Okay, I'm going to create a couple of constants to remove these hard-coded strings from here, here, and here. So const the first is going to be audio format. And this is going to be mp3. The second one is going to be Kimberly voice. It's going to be Kimberly. And the other one is going to be Joy voice. And this is going to be Joy. Okay, and I'm going to replace these strings. So that's going to be audio format, and it's going to be Kimberly voice, and here, Shoei voice. Okay, that's a bit better. Okay, let's go back to the main file, and let's create a couple of instances of the service. So one of them is going to be Kimberly. It's going to be service that only service is going to be equals to service that new Kimberly poly service like that. And the same for joy. It's going to be joy. And it's going to be new joy poly service. Okay, and now let's use those variables here and let's call the service to generate the audio. So first Kimberly that sorry Kimberly that synthesize and we pass the text that we want to convert as audio. And let's say hi I am Kimberly. How are you? And the second argument is going to be the, the MP3 file. So it's going to be Kimberly. So it's going to be Kimberly.mp3. And we need to handle the error here. Error. Nail. We panic. Okay, and let's copy this and let's tweak it to use Shoy. Okay. Shoy. Hi, I am Joy. Nice to meet you. And it's going to be joy.mp3. Okay, let's run this and let's see what happens. Go run main.go. Okay, and now we have, as we can see here, we have the mp3 files. Okay, first let's play Kimberly.mp3. Hi, I am Kimberly. How are you? And now let's play joy.mp3. Play joy. Hi, I am Joey. Nice to meet you. Great, this worked as we expect. So let's wrap this up. Thank you guys for watching and I see you in the next one. Remember to subscribe to the channel. Bye.